Hi, I'm Lindsay Thompson, the Product Manager for Applications in JumpCloud. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a method for dynamically assigning AWS roles and account access with a single connector by using custom user attributes. To get started, you'll need to create an AWS SAML connector in JumpCloud. Here, you'll need only to provide a display label and an IDP URL and save this connector. Export the metadata and then head over to AWS. In AWS, within the IAM service, you'll want to configure JumpCloud as the identity provider and upload the JumpCloud metadata file you exported. Then you'll need to establish the SAML roles that define the various collections of permissions for your users. Once you've created all of these roles, you'll want to collect the ARNs that represent each of them somewhere. When you've completed this work, you'll return to JumpCloud and open up that connector you created. Then you'll need to go down to Attributes. User attributes allow you to map an attribute in the SP AWS in this case, to a JumpCloud attribute name that lives on users. What we want to do to dynamically assign roles here is grab that role attribute for the AWS from the pre-populated constant attribute and move it to the user attribute. Then map it to a name I want to use for my IAM role. You'll add the same role attribute for as many roles as you want this connector to support. I'm going to jump over to an AWS connector I've already populated here, and you'll see that I've decided upon an enumerated naming convention for all of my IAM roles. I left session duration here as a constant attribute, and that is all that is required to configure my AWS connector. Now you'll need to decorate users with the IAM roles that are appropriate. For your initial setup, it may be easiest to organize these assignments first in a spreadsheet, similar to this one. You could then use a JumpCloud PowerShell module to update users in bulk. This work may also be done directly in the admin portal UI. Here I have Kate. Kate requires access to two roles across two AWS accounts. So if I scroll down to her custom attributes, I've added two of the names I mapped to the role attribute on the connector, and I've populated the values with the ARNs for the roles in AWS that are appropriate. Then if I come over to Aiden, he requires four roles across two AWS accounts I've established. Note that I've used the same attribute names for different roles across these two users. This is possible because the values will be dynamically populated regardless. The last thing you'll need to do is provide your users access to the AWS application. Here I've created a dedicated AWS connector user group and we'll add Kate and Aiden and make sure that my AWS application is also bound to this group. When I log in to Kate's user portal, here I see the AWS app. When launched, I'm provided the two roles across the two accounts that were applied as custom attributes. If I select S3 read only, it logs me in and I can see what role and identity I'm logged in under. Over here on Aiden's user portal, I launch the same application, but I'm presented with the four roles across two accounts and I can successfully log in as admin. This is one of the many ways that access and permissions may be controlled in AWS using JumpCloud's SAML application. This is a complex space, so I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.